Jason. Hello, yes, it's the people's favorite Paris Adams. For those that don't know, call me Paz. Call me Paris, as long as it sounds pretty when you say it, I don't mind. So I know you're probably thinking, has she taken up a new job? No, I haven't. I'm actually here in the Upcycle studio and today I'm gonna bring you into the life of one of our most iconic influencers. He goes by the name of AY Bands and I know you're thinking fashion, you're thinking creative and you're thinking drip god. So today we're gonna take a look into his studio, we're gonna get to know a bit about the brand. So enough about me, have a look for yourself. Hey, Hi. how's it going? Are you happy to see me? Very happy to yes, see you. Yes, I can you. Happy, yeah, all right. So, um, <laughs> so I've actually got a challenge for you, you know, because we're here in the Upcycle studio and I'm not just gonna, you know, let you get away with it. So, am I, I want you to imagine that I'm your model. Okay. Because I used to model from an age of like five. Oh, really? Up until now, actually, I wow. still, yeah, I actually still model now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I don't know why I'm not yet modeling your brand, but I, yeah. So, um, I'm representing you in London Fashion Week. Okay. We need to say, what, what does your brand represent? I need a statement. If you're gonna represent us, it's gotta be loud. It's okay. gotta be powerful. So that's what we need to do. But when though? Like now, like 60 seconds, like now. It's done. I love it. Do you know what? It's giving everything that it needs to give. It's giving Y2K. It's giving fire all your models this and use me only. Yeah, do you know this what? You. Do you know what it is? And it's like, when I put the glasses on, it's like that extra like, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Look, look, look. Let me take you around the studio because you haven't even seen everything. That's true. Come on, that's true. So let me show you what actually really happens in this space. This is like our little stock space. Mm. As you can see, there's not much. We, we actually just had a little refill because when we came in here, we had things all over the place in the yeah. back room. We couldn't keep it. Our things had just been flying off the shelf. When I was here earlier, mm -hmm. I know I saw some designs over there. I'm seeing it everywhere. Um, I want to know about the brand. I want to know the message behind the brand. How, what is the message? Let me show you, you this. Trying to... So this is one of the leather jeans that we have here. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it's got the same detail in here. Yeah. So in a nutshell, what happened was everything actually happened back to front. So we actually never had a name for the brand. Oh. We didn't have any sort of logo, we didn't have anything. What we had was loads of designs mm. and things that we wanted to do and kind of like a message that we wanted to pass across. And the message ultimately was to constantly improve. So almost like a cycle that never ends, you're always going ah, okay. up makes up. sense. But not only that, but also to be able to take something that is already existing, so not something new, and improve upon it. Mm. So to recycle, you take something and you use it again. To upcycle, you take something and you make it better. That's smart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a lover of the BTS, the behind the scenes. I want to know the design process behind this. So the next place I actually want to go, I saw some designs yeah, over there. Yeah, please. Man. I really do want to see over. that. For sure. This so is crazy. When you're making these pieces, because I'm okay. When I, I'm just thinking stick men, but when you're designing, um, like, what do you look at it and think? Okay, this piece is going to be my highest selling. These pair of jeans here, mm -hmm. which are actually the same leather jeans that I picked up. Yeah. Leather jeans that I've seen, mm. I really don't like them. If they're too thin, it yeah. looks like a bin bag. <laughs> if it's too shiny, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. If it's too shiny, there's so many things. So. I wanted to create almost like the perfect leather jeans. It was literally the first thing out of the door and the quickest thing out of the door. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. I love that. So I do have, I have quite a few questions because I actually want to get into fashion. Um, if you didn't already realize that. You're already so, dressed for it, exactly. so you're good to go. Um, you're ready. So you're I think ready. I want us to sit down and get a bit more into it. Of course, of course, of course. Let's sit down after you. So let's get into it. Let's start off with a this or that question. Okay. Over there, you were saying, you know, the leather pants, you're a bit picky with them. So I want to know, are you a flares guy or a skinnies guy? Flares. Really? Skinnies to the bin. Really? Yeah, how do okay. you I get it, and yeah. I feel like it may come back, but right now, flares. be too tight. Fair can't enough. Breathe, so flares, 100%. Fair enough. Okay, so Virgil with LV or Pharrell with LV? 
very easy, Virgil. Really? You're really, you don't have to think about yeah, it at all. This, you're, you're talking to me about things that I really look at, so okay. Virgil, 100%. Okay, so we know that you don't just always sit there at the sewing machine and just putting pieces together. You're more than a fashion designer. Yeah. You're an influencer. If I go on Instagram, you know, I'll see you. You got the passport, you got the suitcase. And if you're not in LA, you're in New York. If you're not in New York, you're in Paris. So, okay. We yeah. Get, so, we yeah. On the so, I just yeah. want to know where are you going? Where, what are you doing? And where are you going? Sure. So, Paris is probably one of the places that I've visited the most. Mm. And that's um, one, because it's down the road, and Fashion Week. So Fashion Week, I've almost like connected with a lot of people mm. out in Paris and built like a mini community again, because that's what I'm on, um, of just fashionistas. Um, been to loads of shows in Paris. New York was the same thing. It was um, New York Fashion Week, mm. Paris Fashion Week, um, LA. That was actually a job because I'm an influencer. Um, someone actually said, look, we want you to wear our clothes. We want you to model them. We want you to shoot out in LA. So they flew me out there and yeah, we did the shoot. Okay, so I saw one picture, it was you mm. and it was Ghana. What was that like? Yeah, Ghana was, um, Ghana was lit. It was an experience. He's lit. Um, I think as we're seeing now as well, he's very closely knit to fashion. Mm. So I didn't really, I'm not really into the business of just um, celebrities. Um, God bless them and what they do. But I'm more interested in those who kind of lean more towards fashion. Yeah. And Gunnar's one of those people. So yeah, it was a good time, good chop up. Yeah, it was good. So when you're doing all this networking, I know it's because it's coming back towards Upcycle. So with 100%. building your community and networking with all these people, what would you say is the importance in building that community for Upcycle? The importance is, um, one, I'm, I'm not actually trying to force nothing. I'm literally finding people who kind of gravitate towards it. And two, I think the most important thing is understanding it's not actually, I'm not trying to build a brand. Yeah. Um, I know I've taken you around and shown you like how we make this and how we make that, but I'm actually trying to build a movement. Mm -hmm. And this movement is almost a movement of young people. Reason why is because I'm very interested in having the power of fashion back into the hands of the young. So young people designing, um, being behind the camera, mm. doing PR, doing social media, like that, that interests me a lot. So, yes, a movement. That's what I'm trying to create. I love that. So, I think what a lot of people want to know and what I definitely want to know mm. is 2024, what are the plans with Upcycle? There's a lot. I know, and I know there's some secrets that you cannot reveal. But oh, just, you got me. Yeah, but come on, let's just, we'll keep it. Okay, cool. Try and keep it PG. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. There's um, a major retailer that we're talking to about having our stuff stopped there. Um, there is a very, very exciting project that genuinely, even if we're off camera, I can't speak to you about it, you would have to sign an NDA. I'll sign an NDA. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving it to you. But yeah, the, that project is to do with tech and fashion. I'll leave it at that. It's a very big project. Um, what else have we got on the cards? Most immediately, we've got a shop drop. So we're going to drop something by shock, so it's, it wasn't planned. And then we have the second collection coming out March, April, it's on the cards, so March, April, you probably see the first sighting of it at the beginning of March. So yeah. We've got a busy year. Yeah, it is a busy year. Then we've got a link up with the, the council. We're doing a big collab. There's loads of stuff, loads tell. and loads of stuff. The whole motion is, there's always motion, there's always movement, there's yeah. always something happening, so. This, I think the clothes is just a, a gateway or entry to it, if that, that makes sense. Yeah. It's been great. And I can't wait to come back. I'm excited it's to come back. I can't wait to have you yeah. address you again. You're going to come you. for the second collection, right? Yeah. So I'm going to come back and we're going to... We can do this yeah. all over again. And maybe we can make this like a seasonal thing. Mm. Mm. We can, I can clear out your whole wardrobe. I think that's the plan. All right, bet. Let's do it. I'm just so shaking it. Definitely, no, in fact, Pinky Promise as well. Ooh. Yeah, see, Ooh. this is how I know you weren't beat. So you were lying to me. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, thank you. All right, cool. I feel like you just exchanged power, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, though. I appreciate you.